Now here what I'm needing to do with my brush is to switch colors. So I'm painting black, which is adding to the mask. I'm just going to type the letter X and you'll see that switches my background and foreground colors and allows me to paint out the mask. So now I can get my uh, the bits that are missing there. Anytime I like, I can hit the letter Q to just check to see how that edge is going. Um, and I should now be able to see. Actually, I've got a little bit of a little bit of an edge in there that needs work. Okay, once I've gone around the outside there, uh, I'm just going to hit the letter Q to have a look at my uh, marching ants selection. I can see I've got one more little bit. Uh, so I'll hit the letter Q again, switch, switch from black to white, tidy up some of those edges. Once I've completed a fairly neat selection, uh, I'm just going to pop into the selection menu and choose save selection. Uh, I'm going to name this selection rows. Rows selection, it's always a good idea to name things for what they are. And type, uh, press OK. Command D will deactivate the selection. Potentially I'll be working um, somewhere else in the document doing some other sort of thing. Um, you know, uh, and that selection is saved over into my channels palette. I'll notice that each of the color channels has their uh, keyboard shortcut. And I can make use of this by remembering that my first selection is um, under the keyboard shortcut command 6 or to load the selection command option 6. Uh, so if I'm making changes I can go back and forth to activate and reactivate that selection at any stage. 